changes could be coming to the Jefferson Parish transit system. In less than 24 hours, the JP Council could alter or cut six bus routes. Yeah, the move was suggested to cut costs on routes with low ridership, but some say it could have a big impact on transportation across the region. Lily Cummings joining us now in studio. Yeah, Lily, how much is the parish actually going to save if cost is the factor? Well, Katie and Sharice, according to JP Parish President Cynthia Lee Shang, if they keep operating as they are now, by 2029, the parish would be in a deficit of $27.8 million. That's why she's hoping the council will vote to adopt the proposal, while others say it needs to be given more thought. Six of the 13 Jefferson Parish transit routes could undergo a change in service. The JP Transit Department recommended these six routes either be altered or cut. Ride New Orleans, a local transit advocacy group, sees the plan as a threat to equitable and accessible regional transportation. This is going to do harm. Um, and it's going to hit people double hard because RTA is also doing some service cuts um, June. And so we've got people who don't have access to a car. According to Jefferson Parish President Cynthia Lee Sheng, the transit system is largely funded by the federal government. Fares do not um, pay anywhere near um, you know, what it takes to run a transit system. The more proactive we can be in the long run, um, the less painful it will sort of be to our riders. Shang says one route, the Metairie Local, serves about 1.6 passengers an hour and costs the parish $460,000 a year to operate. That route would be eliminated under the proposal. A cut through the heart of Councilmember Jennifer Van Vranken's district. And so that was immediately concerning to me when you talk about getting rid of bus service in Metairie. Um, what I've been assured by the administration and the transit director is other routes will cover most of what was covered in the Metairie local. Van Branken says the council will consider the proposal on Wednesday. They could defer the decision, but she says that would likely confuse riders who've been notified the changes will take effect on June 4th. Whether or not we move forward at the council immediately on these cuts, I still will have an open ear because I do think we need to constantly listen to how do we improve service. And the council will take this up tomorrow at 10 a.m. Public comment will be allowed at that meeting.